Welcome to the Rip City Basement. My name is Bren Boy, bridging the gap between hip hop fanatics, demand to hear technique, and today's electronic obsession. Today, Extreme Sport Edition. We're here at the Rockstar Energy Open in Portland, Oregon, and I'm sitting here with pro skater Clay Kreiner. What's going on, brother? Not a whole lot, man. Just hanging out. Hey, stoked we were, to be here with you. Dude, stoked to be here with you, too. We were just talking about what you had going on today and how you were warming up for the event. What's going on? And is this your first time in Portland? Have, have you skated these streets before? Yeah, so I actually have been out here to Portland uh, quite a few times and, and the surrounding areas here in Oregon. Beautiful, beautiful place. But uh, yeah, just just flew in to Portland two, two nights ago. Okay. And uh, yeah, today was the first day we got to check out the course, skate for a little bit. So yeah, got my legs moving a bit this morning and watched the rest of the crew skate and so yeah, now we're here. Now when you say your crew, are we talking the Rockstar team? Well, Rockstar crew, the whole team's here, of course. Everybody. Shout out to all the homies. And then there's a, there's a ton of other athletes here for the weekend that are competing as well. And so, uh, you know, representing all different companies and board brands, this and that. And so it's a, a really, really rad field of, of people out here this week. That's dope. And how did you even get your first break in becoming a pro skater? How did this thing start? Do you remember like that moment or that competition or what was it that sparked oh, it? Man, it's it could be a million different things really. Like the stars kind of just had to align and um but first things first, my family, I guess, you know, just for like having my back as a as a youngin. Mm -hmm. I grew up in South Carolina and I always felt like uh, you know, it was like not as like in front of the eyes that I needed to be or, mm. or so for coming from that area. And like, just my family pushed me to like, you know, just chase my dreams. They always have my back super tough and mm. yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't be here without them. So I, I, I got to say that that was like the first step to like being where I am today. Wow. Is it because you didn't have a lot of opportunities coming from your town? There just wasn't things presenting there or what it was, was it? It's just a slower pace, like a, a slower world, you know, in my opinion, uh, I live in San Diego these days and I'm in the Mecca of skateboarding. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so it's, uh, all the best dudes live there, all the, all the best skate parks and everything. And, uh, yeah, so I, I it was just not as large, you know, there maybe wasn't as much belief in being a pro skateboarder in, in my area, you know? And so I, I give tons of props to my parents for like, you know, uh, allowing me to, to chase a dream. Yeah. Had there been anybody else from your area that you had looked up to and thought like, yeah, this is what I'm trying to do. Or did you just have to kind of come up with this dream yourself? No, man, there was, there was tons of guys that, you know, luckily I got to grow up surrounded by, um, a lot of older guys, you know, that, um, were skating as I was just getting into skating and already ripping had been ripping for years. And so obviously, you know, looking up to them as a start and then learning more and more about skating, you know, just through YouTube and random things uh -huh. and Tony Hawk's pro skater and all, all of the things, you know, you obviously like your heroes grow over time and this and that. And, yeah. um, but yeah, there was definitely a, a, a lot of guys that I looked up to in my hometown for sure. That's what's up. And now getting to that next level to where you're able to come out to Portland, Oregon, the rock star open, what was the barrier or the biggest struggle that you had to face that you just kept banging away? You know, most people's success stories is it's, it's at that moment where you're either going to give up or keep going. And because you did, you know, what was that barrier that you had to get over? Ah, uh, like, I think really just dodging injury as a skateboarder, like, is a, is about your, your main or only barrier. I mean, if you, you love something, you love something, you're going to chase it either way. Yeah. But it's, it's a bit of the name of the game. You know, we're going to get hurt. It's not if, it's when, right. you know. Um, but I think just kind of those obstacles in, in general, just trying to stay away from hospitals. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, and just like I said, you know, you love something, you're going to chase it. And so uh, whether it fell into place or not, you know, I, I was still going to continue to ride my skateboard and push myself. And so, like I said as well, like, there's a million things that kind of needed to fall in place as yeah. well. And um, just kind of blessed that that things have worked out and I get to come hang out in rad cities like this and yeah, yeah. do my thing, ride a skateboard, you know? I love that. You know, some people say different journeys is it's either written in the stars or it's written in the sand. Do you see it something like 
almost like you were destined to do this? Did you always know that? Or was it over a period of training that you realized you were this good? I think it was definitely over a, over a period of time. You know, I, as a kid, I, I did all the the school sports, I guess to say. My, mm-hmm. my dad was actually a, a coach at my local high school. So before I was even technically old enough to play little league sports, you know, my dad had me in wrestling and baseball and little league football. And I, I did all those sports uh, up until I was probably 13 or so. And I'd already picked up skateboarding even. Mm-hmm. And so there was a, a few years that I kind of juggled both. And um, I think my dad c- kind of noticed that I was falling more and more in love with the skating aspect. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'll never forget the kind of the moment that he, he came to me and, and told me, you know, like if, man, if you don't want to play baseball, or football or wrestle or any any of these things like don't do them because you think I want you to do them or like or feel pressure from me to do them because I'm a coach or this and that and he's like man if you want to skate chase it you know you can wow. just skate he told me as well like you're not going to quit on your team mid-season you know like you count on a team they count on you so you when the season's strong. over you know if you don't want to go back the following season so be it like I'll support you in the skateboarding wow. and um yeah I think that was like kind of a a big moment and then you know i think over time too you 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 go to small contests and you work your way up through like amateur contests and you can kind of kind of feel your way like do i belong do i not or like and um i felt like i had a place in a way you know i wasn't the best i wasn't the worst but i was like man i i was down to work at it a ton and so yeah just putting in the work over the years like uh yeah, I've been been super blessed to like be in events and things that were just always a dream as a kid. That's dope. That's super dope. Now, obviously, you've been an athlete your whole life. So training and preparation, mindset, all those things come into play when you're competing, performing, however you look at it, you know. What is the preparation going into something like this, the Rockstar Energy Open in Portland, you knew this was coming up. You got to Portland a couple of days early. What are you doing a week before and those two days before you even got here? What was going on in your mind as far as getting it locked in and focused? And what are you doing to prepare your body for this? To me, mostly it's just riding a skateboard, just staying on my skateboard and staying comfy with what I know how to do. And obviously like me along with the rest of the guys never saw this bowl this specific bowl and yeah. until we show up you know it's like right. we don't really know what to expect so it's not like you can necessarily prepare for this exact spot but it's just you know staying healthy like uh, like i was saying staying injury free yeah. and just like being comfy and um and then you know once you're here it's 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 competition and the mind games everybody handles them a bit different mm. you know but for me i've always try to tell myself that it's uh it's just another day you yeah. know the moment that i um start to worry or, or like go out of my own habits because there's a an event you know like oh like i better eat a great breakfast you know i don't normally eat breakfast okay you know i'll start to i'll start to throw myself off you know so i just try and pretend it's a normal day as much as i can obviously you get the nerves like when your name starts being called and the crowds yeah. around you know, like everybody gets nerves whether they want to tell you they do or don't. Right. And obviously you're going to, you're going to feel those things, but yeah, I think for myself at least and other people obviously handle it different. But for me, it was just always like, just skate. I've been doing, I've been riding a skateboard for nearly 20 years. So, uh, why, why drop in and freak out and, you know, lose faith in yourself and all the things that you, you know, like, it's another day. Just, just another day. Just ride your skateboard. Stay on. I love that. You know? <laughs> I love that, man. Now, you mentioned that there were some people that you looked up to growing up as you were starting the genesis of your skate career. Yeah, yeah. Have you gotten a chance to collaborate or work with some of these? I don't even know if collaborate's the right word. Does, does In the skate community, do you get a chance to go and say, you know, I want to work with this skater. I want to do something with him. I'm, I'm a hip hop artist and a radio guy. So if I want to collab with a, another rapper, it's like, well, let's make a song together. Is there something like that with skating where you get to do that? Well, 
there there obviously is like collaborations with companies or just writing for a company you know oh. like a a company or a team that you always looked up to and you know even the guys at rockstar is like it's it's kind of, it's a dream come true to like be a part of this crew you know i always looked up to all of their writers and um it's kind of crazy that i just call call them my my homies now you know and that goes with a lot of people in in the industry man like like i said originally from south carolina all these all these dudes were so far fetched they were just these youtube characters you know characters yeah. almost like they weren't even like real real people so um yeah now that i get to like call a lot of these dudes some of my best friends on on the earth you know it's like 12 year old me would not believe any of this you know? <laughs> screaming right now, yeah right but yeah on, on the collaboration ends like like i said just writing for the team and and things like that i think were were probably like something um that would compare and okay. and like from the hip-hop world hip-hop world you know or in coll collaboration i guess mm -hmm. but uh yeah just board brands and this and that like and just meeting your heroes as well you know and getting getting a session with them you know just to skate with them whether yeah. it's competition or just a you know like just bumping paths you know there's still people to this day that i like bump into and i'm like oh like pleasure you know like always looked up to you bro huge fan you know i'll, I'll never lose that that little kid in me that looked up to all these guys you know got you does that change the session when you're around there because like you were saying your your thing is i just i'm just here to skate i know what i'm doing here but does that change like oh this person's here i want to try a trick i didn't usually do or or is it just a normal day same thing it it all depends you know like like i said is there's a lot of mental Mind game. yeah yeah in in skateboarding and there's times that you know you can be around someone that you looked up to and it could spook you and you just kind of want to sit on the sidelines and watch them do their thing hmm. or you know there's times where the session gets fired up and like you said, next thing you know, you're trying something that you wouldn't normally try. And I think there's a a large part of skateboarding that feeds off of energy, you know, and right, right. the hype. There's, uh, and so, yeah, if you find yourself in one of those like fired up sessions with some legends and uh, man, crazy stuff's bound to go down, you know, yeah. somebody's going to get fired up. I love that. And, and the people at the park get fired up start banging the tail on, you know, doing a trick. It's, there's something special, like you're talking about the energy wise. Has that changed with the skate culture from, you said you've been in this two decades now. Growing up, how has the culture changed and where do you see it going in the future? Uh, man, there there's small changes and then there's no changes at all, in, in my opinion, in ways. You know, I think one of the reasons I, I fell in love with skateboarding was because it was so polar opposite of all the sports that I grew up doing, you mm. know, is uh, you're kind of trained to hate your opponent or to, yeah. you know, beat up on them. Yeah. And, and then in skateboarding, like, like everybody's your homie. And it, and it like took my dad, his coaching background, it took him quite a while to like even grasp that mm. himself. You know, you'd go to a competition and, like someone clearly does a run that's going to beat you mm. and like, but you're still stoked for him and all, everybody's stoked. And my, my dad's kind of like, man, he, this dude just kind of whips your butt. Like uh -huh. you're like clapping and jumping up and down for him, you know? And I always loved that like camaraderie of skating. It's just like, we all love to see the sport be pushed and like individuals push themselves, mm -hmm. you know? And yeah, it's gotta be like one of the, greatest parts of skating and you know there's there's events and things now like the olympics that have grown to like maybe change a little bit of training and preparation and things like that that we didn't see prior in skating but if anybody tuned into the most recent olympic games and watched any of the skateboarding man i think that you'll see for yourself that it's family and we all want to see each other do well at the yeah. end of the day. Like as much as like everybody wants to win the gold medal, like we also want to see all of our friends on top and you can't, not every day is yours, you know, and that's okay. And, uh, yeah. So I, th I thought that there was a really rad display, even with the changes with the Olympics of skating and like the love that, you know, all of us athletes, 
have for each other, you yeah. know? Yeah, that's incredible. You know, it kind of reminds me of surfing a little bit. My boy T-Rav right here behind the camera, he's uh, one hell of a surfer. He's one of the best longboarders in Oregon. But, uh, you know, when I was out in Hawaii, uh, I noticed a certain culture out there. And I also noticed on, on your page, you spend a little bit of time out in Hawaii yourself. And um, it kind of reminds me of not every wave is your wave, brother. Let that guy surf that. That's just, you weren't in the position at that. That's something Trav ta has taught me, at, you know, going out with them. And that kind of sounds like the same. Do, do you get those same community vibes when you go out to Hawaii? Is that why you spend so much time? Or what, what are you usually doing out there? Well, um, my girlfriend is actually born and raised on Oahu and oh, okay. is a professional surfer, professional oh. longboarder as well. And uh, and so, yeah, I've been, I've been splitting my time between California and Hawaii over the last few years. And I adore it, man. Like, the people are the greatest. Uh, like, I mean, you got to show your respect and show your, your, your love and like, and, and be there to like understand their culture as well. Or like, you know, like it's their land. But if you, if you go there with love and like you're open, you know, like I swear they're the greatest people on the planet and like the most beautiful place on the planet. And, uh, yeah, so I absolutely adore every second I get out in Hawaii. That's and I dope. do think that there's a lot of the same, you know, camaraderie and respect in surfing as there is in, in skating as well. You know, it's, um, you know, you obviously work your way up the ranks and, uh, you know, respect your elders. Yeah. You know, you, you never disrespect the, the old heads and, you know, the ones that came before you. For sure. You know, and I think there's a lot of similarities for sure. But... Yeah, man, every every second I get in Hawaii is is a blessing. That's dope, brother. What about music, man? This the Rockstar Energy Open is not just about skateboarding, but we also have two music acts coming live to the stage. We have a DJ and we have another music artist. Uh, what's going on in your headphones when you're at the skate park? Oh, man. I, I'm always curious like when someone's just in the zone. You know when skaters get into that flow state and you're just really hitting a line. I'm like What's going on in those headphones, man? I'm curious. Oh, you just never know if it's my headphones. I mean, I feel like some people have their, like, go-tos. But, man, it's always, like, the mood or wh whatever I'm feeling in the moment. It could be different, you know? Like, there's times where I'm in, like, a more vibey mood and want to bump some hip-hop music. Or, like, if I'm just cruising, like, the session's mellow, I'll, like, vibe out to country music. It's, like, po like... Polar nearly opposites. polar opposites you know but uh man i feel like my music influence from my parents and like my hometown and now san diego and 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 hawaii even it's like my playlist is all over the place is it? and and i'm not a i'm not much of a headphone skater i just kind of listen to whatever the dj's bumping and okay uh yeah i'll, I'll vibe to i'll vibe to a million different things that's what's up dude it's been really cool chatting with you um one other question I had is when you first came to Portland, I know you said you'd been here before, but what did you notice was the biggest difference in the other cities that you skated, like on the actual streets? We have some pretty cool spots here, and Portland has been known as a legendary spot, being that we have Burnside. Um, but what was your first experience when you came to the town, and how did you get linked up and like even know where to go skate? Well, I mean... Shout out to all the Oregon homies that have that have showed me around. There's like way too many to list, but that's the, also one of the raddest things about Oregon is like the the skateboarder is not not only the spots. Like the skateboarders are like the best and most welcoming people, and and will throw you in their van and show you around the whole state, you know, oh. it, and more, you know. And um, that's kind of that's a, a bit of skateboarding culture in general, you know, like come crash on my couch and I'll crash on yours later. Show me around, you know, Love and that. show me around your city. I'll sh show you around mine. And, um, yeah, just kind of like that, you know, um, and there's such a, a rad community down at Burnside and all the surrounding parks and, and just the architecture here is, is very different. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I feel like in the city as well, it's, um, I mean, I'm fairly spoiled to like San Diego streets and things of the, that nature now, but like you get, 
it's it's a different beauty here mm. you know mm. and there and there's like the spots are so different than they are at home and the skate parks are so different like shout out to red and his whole crew that build some of the most unbelievably insane skate parks on the planet and they're all here That's in, dope. in oregon man like so shout out to his his whole crew man like much love red you're the guy but have you ever skated grants pass that's where we're, we're from grants pass i have never been never been there oh man I, I, I maybe we gotta get him out there sometime it's a park he's never been to yeah we have to come visit we got couches there we go hey i got couches in return <laughs> i love it last question i want to ask is about the competition itself each skater here is has a different style different almost brand of the way they get down on the board how do you describe your style and what makes you different on the ramps? Oh man, I'm just kind of loose to be honest. Just uh, loose. You know, there you'll see guys this weekend that are super structured and have their lines dialed and you kind of know what they're going to go back and try if they if they miss something, you know, they want to dial that one line in. Um I'm more of like a figure out the first couple walls. And we see where we go from there. Like, let's have some fun. And I like to, you know, push myself, even though it's a contest. And I guess that's a, a risky way t to maybe skate some contest, you know, is make or break, I guess. But, um, yeah, I like to push myself either way, contest or not, try something and stoke out the crowd, stoke out myself, you there know, we as go. well. Got to keep it interesting, right? Yeah, you know, but, uh, yeah, a million different styles and approaches to, to the course, you know, in the street and the and the park courses you, you know you'll you'll see this weekend that like there's a ton of incredible skateboarders and they're gonna use the course completely differently it's uh mm. i would hate to be a judge <laughs> me too <laughs> hey i'm excited i just got to sit down and chat with you get to know you a little better get to understand the mindset of a pro skater and and just to see what you do this whole weekend man thank you for rocking with me on the show and and giving us a little insight into your no, yeah thank you guys both of you man for having me it's been a pleasure we can chat some more anytime. Right on. Clay Kreiner, everybody. My name is Bren Boy, B-Boy style. Rip City Basement, bridging the gap between hip-hop fanatics, demand to hear technique, and today's electronic obsession. Extreme Sports Edition. We're down here at the Rockstar Energy Open. We'll see you guys later. Peace.